All right, race fans, welcome back to another edition of the Workbench. Uh, today we're going to kind of give an update uh, specifically on uh, some lifelike products that we've got coming out. Uh, we finally got the tooling moved over in China to a new location. It's not as good as we'd like, but uh, it's a start. Um, we'll talk about a lot of that later on, but we won't waste any time on that now. Uh, we've been able to evaluate a lot of the molds. Uh, we, we've decided to do some things that we can um, produce some product right away, in particular some new bodies. Uh, we actually uh, have uh, the support for the uh, loop tracks. I know you're all excited about that, but uh, I've got more loops than I have support, so we ended up repopping the loops. Uh, we've got some gear sets in the lifelike line. Uh, it's uh, some seven tooth pinion gears and 25 tooth crown gears. These, I believe, were actually used on the old M cars when they came with the skewed armatures. It's a little different than the later model uh, gray gears that you've seen, but uh, these are, I think, a little bit better, and uh, we'll, we'll talk more about them. Uh, in the uh, HCS AMG line, we've got out some uh, new uh, crown and pinion gears and axles. Um, I believe, I think a lot of you have already seen these and they provide a pretty good value. Uh, the pinion gear actually is uh, quite nice. A lot of the pro racers are using it in uh, super stock and some other classes of cars. Um, they do work very well. Uh, some standard grade stainless steel uh, splined axles and I believe they are dead nuts, non-magnetic. Oh, I was wrong. They are very, very slightly magnetic, but not much. They have very, very little iron in them. It's a very high quality stainless steel axle. Uh, we've got some in-bell keys um, with the Viper logo on them for in-bells. And then we actually have some hard body clips coming out that will allow Viper, uh, Scale Auto, and Super G Plus to take either lifelike or uh, Tyco bodies. So we'll zoom in here and kind of take a closer look at some of this stuff. All right, let's take a look at the in-bell key. Uh, this is a real affordable uh, uh, tool that uh, we had popped out. It's uh, reminiscent of the old key that uh, AFX Tommy did a number of years ago. You can't hardly find those anymore. But uh, anyway, we've uh, got this thing. Um, it's not intended to be, you know, a pro tool. It's you know for an occasional user that, you know, once a month he takes his car apart or something. This is not something you want to use every day. Uh, they're priced pretty cheap. So if you lose them, you know, it's not like you have your nice machined one that, um, you know, that's. Uh, a really nice tool that uh, if you lose that, well, you know, you, you've lost a, you know, a lot of money on that. But anyway, uh, inserts into the front and spreads the end bell arms so you can insert the armature without damaging the, uh, the motor brushes or take it out. If you take the key and take a pair of uh, wire cutters and cut these outside tabs off, you can actually use it for can motors um, the these wings out here actually are too tight to clear, but uh, it'll work on can motors really, really well um, if you cut these wings off. So you can buy a couple and have one for each. So that's um, that's a new part. We're kind of excited about that. Um, and then we move on to some uh, new gears that we got. These, I'll talk about these here. These are the lifelike gear sets that um, we got off of the original lifelike tooling. They are uh, seven tooth pinion gears and 25 tooth crown gears, and they are when you put them on an axle, they are a dead nuts fit into an M car, and this is really what they are intended to do. You can put them in an M car with no shims here in the back. They fit perfect, and it's just a really, really nice gear. Um, the, uh, the, the way this thing is designed, with the, the way it rides on the, uh, the, the pinion shaft of the motor, 
it's a perfect fit. I mean, this is what these things were designed for. But you can you can you know repurpose them and do other things for them. It has a very good mesh. Um, I took and put a set in a uh, Tomy uh, SRT. It requires a I think I put a fifteen thousand shim on the back of this one here. But I actually got better dyno numbers than the uh, original Tomy parts that were in it. And I even put one into a T car. Now the T car pinion, you're stuck with that. You don't, you can't use these pinions in that. But this will fit here again, dead nuts into a T car with no shims. And I, on this particular car, I did get some better dyno numbers on that. Uh, the Other things that we've gotten in are some HCS AMG gears, seven tooth pinions, 25 tooth crown gears, gear savers, and axles. The, uh, the pinions have been very, very popular with pro racers. Um, they've been using them in pro super stock quite a bit, and uh, I, th I think you'll find that uh, they work really, really well with uh, quite a number of different crown gears. So we're real proud about that. Um, a lot of the guys at the Nats were using them and uh, they did really really well. The the crown gear when you build it up on an axle set is a nice general purpose replacement for Tyco and a number of other applications that were using 25 tooth crown gears. The original Tyco crown gear is Nylatron and it's actually quite soft the uh, pinion gear was nylon or nylatron too, uh, and it's quite soft. So if you if you put the cars under a lot of stress, you'd end up bending a lot of teeth. Not so much now with these because these are made out of Delrin. And uh, I failed to mention on these uh, these new lifelike uh, gears that we got. The originals were made out of uh, nylatron, and these are these are Delrin as well, which uh, will um, handle a lot more abuse. And then we've got our single uh, splined stainless steel uh, axle. It's a standard grade axle. It's not a, uh, a hard steel axle. It's just a standard grade axle for you know, more common use, uh, priced accordingly. Um, you know, you know, if you put them in a fast car and you take a bad wall shot, you're probably going to bend one. Um, you know, if you start doing a lot of that, then you'll need to step up to the Viper hard spline axle. But uh, anyway, those are um, those are some things that uh, we've got going on in terms of gears. And uh, we will pause here for just a second and take a look now at some things related to the bodies. All right, there were a number of body molds that uh, were available when we got the tooling moved and whatever, but I picked a few of them out that I thought would actually race the best, not uh, necessarily look the best, but race the best, because that seems to be what we're most after is performance. Um, the uh, the IndyCar is available, and the the only the only downside with this thing is it only fits an M car. It won't fit a T car or anything else for that matter. So, uh, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna bring this one out. That's the plan. Probably just do one color in white uh, and offer it as a paintable kit for uh, hobbyists that want to do whatever they want to do. So that's primarily only for M-Car on that one. The rest of these, uh, they'll run either M-Car or uh, uh, T-Car. Um, we've got the Corvette out and we did, I did a little modification on this. I had the, uh, the uh, body engagements raised up in the car so it rides lower on the chassis. The old uh, original mold the way they had it made, uh, it sat up way too high and just didn't look proper. So we were doing that. Um, there is a Mercedes-Benz, uh, kind of a DTM sort of uh, body, and uh, that should be interesting. There's kind of late model stocker. Uh, originally Lifelike did a number of things with this. I think probably it was a Dodge or whatever, but uh, we've got that. And uh, 
we've actually got the, uh, the race truck. This races really well. It kind of looks like it wouldn't, but it's actually very lightweight. Um, it, I don't know if they called it a Baja truck or what, but uh, I don't know. Maybe this will be uh, what we call a stadium truck or something. I don't know what we'll call it, but anyway, that one races good. And then this one was really a find. It's the uh, Citroen Rally, and it's pretty compact. I had a couple of things done to it, so it fits chassis better. Um, but that's going to come out, and then probably just the really I think the best all-around body that uh, is available to me at this point is the old Buick Stalker. It's relatively lightweight. Um, it's not it's not very heavy. It flexes pretty easy. Um, but that you know came on a number of different things. That one races really really well. Um, the, the plan is probably just to do some basic colors. Um, having licensed deliveries at this point are just not an option in order to get stuff to market kind of quick. So we'll probably have three or four colors the same in each one. Uh, you know, kind of IROC colors to start with, just to get some product out and uh, and see how we go. Uh, what's really uh, exciting is we're working on, we've seen the test shots come in and it is the, uh, the hard body clip that works primarily on the Viper car and will allow a Viper, once you take off the body posts, to run either a lifelike body or a Tyco body. So we've had these parts available for a long time. Uh, 3D, 3D printed parts, I think you can get them off of Shapeways. They sort of worked because they were very thin for uh, 3D printed parts, so there was a lot of problems regarding that. But uh, we finally tooled up these particular pieces here are the test shots. And we're probably going to have finished parts pretty soon here, probably I would say as we're making this video, we're in the early part of July, so maybe towards the end of July here, or first part of August, we might actually have some parts. But um, these will work on uh, the Viper once you take the posts off. Uh, Scale Auto G3, Tommy Super G Plus, and there was a lot of engineering time into this. I put into these things to get where it would work. But There you go. And I think that's going to make a really, really nice uh, hard body road race car right there. Um, this particular body just really, really runs well. And then, of course, Tyco clip for guys that just love their Tyco bodies. And here again, this Tyco Lumina is another body that runs really, really well. Um, it was it was well done. It's not very heavy, um, but it uh, just for giggles, we'll put this on here. And there you go. It's got the Citroen body on it. Citroen Rally. It's quite interesting. Uh, we lucked out. Uh, there was actually just enough uh, real estate here under the front uh, where the body fits right down onto the chassis. The, the pickup's clear because um, it really is a really short body. But this ought to make a really nice uh, racing body as well. I'm kind of excited about that. I think that's going to look really, really good. And then um, the truck. So here again, it looks like the, you know, the front of the car sticks out a little bit, but it does clear without having to uh, cut anything out, and the body does float. So I think that'll be another good, uh, good racing body. All right, last thing we'll talk about here are the uh, Lifelike Track Loop Supports. I know you all have just been waiting forever for these to come back out, but uh, they are out. Um, in terms of track pieces, this is about it for right now. Uh, I'm not tooling up to re-pop actual individual track pieces. I've got a lot 
do the existing inventory that I need to run through first, but some of these accessories were getting um, low on stock or completely out of stock, and one of them is the loop supports, and a lot of people, it's, it's an important thing, so when you build the loop, that when the car goes over it, it doesn't, it has some measure of um, uh, stability to it. So we did get these redone off the original factory tooling, and uh, we'll get those posted on the website and eBay pretty quickly here. Um, but anyway, that kind of wraps up the uh, uh, update here on uh, new products and things that we're looking at uh, doing here for this year and the coming year. Um, if you have any questions at all, you all know where to email me. And uh, hopefully this stuff will work and uh, you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Thank you.